Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today I'm going to be doing the random letter logo design practice technique where I pick a random letter with the help of a website and then immediately whatever comes to mind that begins with that letter, I choose a noun. So it's a, just a good exercise to help you really try to think outside of the box. The goal is to take that letter and then whatever noun it is and create a unique symbol that portrays both of them uh, inside of what's called a letter mark logo. All right, so check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, so here we are and all you have to do is just click this generate another random letter and it will show up here and I will think of or speak the first noun that begins with that letter that comes to mind. Here we go. G, grape. All right. Yeah, I was just uh, drinking some grape Gatorade. Uh, so that's probably why that came to mind. So anyhow, I uh, let me yeah, 800 by 600 that'll work. All right, so I got to come up with the idea of grape and symbolize it within a G. Okay. So I got to kind of think here a little bit. So the one thing that immediately sticks out to me is, you know, a grape is something that's circular and so is this portion of the G. All right, my <laughs> my daughter just interrupted me. She does it all the time. Anyhow, so yeah, this outer portion here is circular, but I just have to figure out a way. Uh, it would be almost too easy if it came like with an O and, and I came up with some type of uh, circular shaped um, thing, but we have this here. So I, what I'm gonna do is just I, replicate that and I'm just gonna go down my font list just to see if anything immediately sticks out to me as just feeling I don't know grapeish because I really don't have an idea right at the moment so I uh, one thing I want to do is uh, I'll get up the browser here and let me go to images it's always a good idea to get reference images based on what your thinking about I mean I know what a damn grape looks like of course but I just helps to see grape <laughs> yeah so they can you know you either have your green or your uh, red slash uh, purple and what can I say I mean it's just an oval shape with a thing hanging off a stem so um, let's see here kind of like this station medium it's a free font because uh, it has almost the full portion of the grape. All right, so I'm going to use this just as some uh, inspiration here. So I'm going to create a custom one with the ellipse tool and just hold Shift and Alt and get this guy, get rid of the uh, fill, give it a stroke, and we'll turn that sucker up quite a bit right around there. And I... Uh, Oops, and uh, what we want to do is, yeah, there we go. Uh, is this, yeah, we're in RGB, yeah. All right, anyhow, okay, so I, I think I may have just come up with an idea, a bit of an idea at least. Uh, so let's think here. If I add an anchor point, just adding one of these points right here, and eh, we'll just say right around here, and maybe here. Oh, wait. and then add one where you're between them. So three points. And hit delete. Okay, create a opening there. Let's also change the cap here to that. Okay. Let's think here. may have to adjust this but we'll see I'm just experimenting here okay so if I just select this point right here change to the pen tool alright let's see what this looks like so I I'm deleting this one let's move this over 
and you know if normally a grape looks like it's kind of just sitting straight up with the stem coming out trying to think of how I can do this you thinking what the hell is going on here I don't even know what's going on all right let's see here I'll remove this one hmm I'm gonna try something real quick get rid of the stroke We'll make, uh, we'll use purple, I think. And we'll position it beneath. I'm gonna do something over here. So if I come over to appearance, you know, we can add multiple strokes on the same path so you just come over here and hit add new stroke we want it to go beneath the current stroke right around here and wait where did it go damn it add new stroke first let me change it to white and right now it's on top of this stroke so oh there it was we can delete this one drag it to the trash can and increase this size maybe right around there okay maybe just work with that nah I'll leave it that size and maybe add a highlight uh, white one right here actually let me uh, use that real quick and you know what we'll do it like this take that just replicate it oh great my mouse is about to die one second all right and what i'll do is i hmm, yeah give that no fill give it a stroke white turn this thing up for the stroke and come over here with the the add anchor point tool add one right there and then maybe right here and then delete these points real quick yeah we can leave those and then change the stroke to this there we go that way it's perfect All right, can always scale it down just a little bit. Actually, let me um, delete that delete those all right all right so it's kind of looking grapeish uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here but not quite so need to think here still just trying to play around with this and visualize it a little bit 
Trying to see if there's any changes that I can make that will help this effect. So um, click on that stroke, take it down maybe quite a bit. How about I take this and oops, this right here. Okay, so let me real quickly try to do something. Take this point, and this, 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 and this. Delete them. And the reason that's overlapping is because this one has, uh, we duplicated, replicated rather, and this issue is occurring. There we go. So now we just have, well, if I can get it, we can get out the layers here. I must have deleted that one, damn it. Step forward, do clear. All right, so that path. Okay, so real quickly, let me take, I'm gonna try that again, damn it. Appearance. We want to just get rid of this. There, there it goes. So now we still have this thing. So what we can do, see what I'm trying to, to emulate here as best as I can is, this little tail from the G, I want it to make it look like a stem almost from the grape. So if I took all, just temporarily take all of this, outline the strokes, get it to a small size, oops. Uh, actually, something's not working out correctly. Expand appearance. Something's not working out. One second. Okay, that's because I didn't have all the damn layers selected when I did this. Object path, expand appearance. I mean, no, outline stroke rather. There we go. So if I scale this down just to see what this looks like. You know, the question is, does that look like grape? <laughs> so, um, and also, is it discernible enough to look like a G? Definitely, I would say on this level. That's why, if, it, if it's like this, though, it kind of, you lose the grape aspect. It looks more like a G, of course, because it's a standard G, but if you tilt it a little bit, it does seem to have the desired effect. Let me see here. You know, I actually kind of think I want to stick with this. So, to further rape, <laughs> not that that's funny or anything. Uh, let's see here, rape's not funny. Although George Carlin did say rape can be funny, it just depends on the context and uh, depends on the joke. Okay, so anyhow, let me uh, come over here, character, get that s squished in real quick. Um, Let me expand the appearance of all this stuff. Uh, not this one, though. We'll leave rape over there. Uh, I think I have to do that again real quick. Alleged stroke. Okay. So I uh, take this and.
Yeah. Yeah, it's def definitely you. You can read grape from it, so I would say in that idea, it is pretty effective. Let me bring this down here. I uh, grape G. I like it. Cool stuff. So that is my grape. All right. Uh, so I do these routinely, uh, maybe once every two weeks or so. So yeah, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. Subscribe here on YouTube. And very shortly, I'm going to be having uh, Design Course Premium ready to go. And that's a service that has full video courses along with Design Course Mentor in which I train you how to become a better designer. All right, I'll see you tomorrow with a new video. All right, goodbye.